It's been a long and winding road to get where we are today, wherever that is. It was 596 days ago that Ted Cruz first announced he would run before 16 other people joined him on the Republican side. And six stepped up for the Democrats. So here's a look back at some of the more memorable moments from the trail. We need somebody that literally will take this country and make it great again. Everyday Americans need a champion, and I want to be that champion. When Mexico sends its people, they're sending people that have lots of problems. I should have used two accounts. That was a mistake. I'm sorry about that. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States. We're going to build the wall. We have no choice. The American people are sick and tired of hearing about your damn emails. Our judgment is that no reasonable prosecutor would bring such a case. You've called women you don't like fat pigs, dogs, slobs, and disgusting animals. Your Twitter account Only is Rosie several... O'Donnell. Oh. Picture of himself eating a taco bowl with a caption, Happy Cinco de Mayo. And what is Aleppo? You're kidding. No. Cover that, corporate media. You work hard for what you want in life. That your word is your bond and you do what you say you're going to do. I humbly and gratefully accept your nomination. Have you even read the United States Constitution? And I move that Hillary Clinton be selected as the nominee of the Democratic Party. I accept your nomination for President of the United States. The system is rigged. It's rigged, okay? And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. <laughs> Whatever you want. You grab him by the <laughs> I can do anything. He was like an octopus. It was like he had six arms. You could put half of Trump supporters into what I call the basket of deplorables. Having difficulty just even holding yourself up uh, with her balance. It's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Yeah. Because you'd be in jail. Now to what I'm to that saying principle. is that I will tell you at the time. I'll keep you in suspense. Woo! Okay. <laughs> this is it, folks. We will never have another opportunity. Let's make history together. On that note, that's it for tonight. Please come back tomorrow for Greater Boston's hour-long post-election special. We'll talk about what happened in the road ahead with Congress people Mike Capuano, Joe Kennedy, and Nikki Sangas. Senate President Stan Rosenberg will be here to weigh in on the ballot questions and what action the legislature might take in their wake. Plus, GBH colleagues Emily Rooney, Marjorie, and Adam Riley, and much more tomorrow from 7 to 8 p.m.